here I am in an old Korean fortress where many famous Korean generals have battled and hold their battlements against pirates and things. And uh, here I am doing a book review. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today, well, I don't really have to have a book with me, but today I'm reviewing a book called Gates by John Conley himself. Gates is a pretty epic book. It is about a boy named Samuel who has a little bit of a wild philosophical imagination, a little bit. And he's a very interesting boy, but people can think he's. And Samuel one day thought had the genius idea to have a little bit of a head start on Halloween. Which sounds ridiculous, but for Samuel he thought it was absolute genius. Anyway, so basically what happened was Samuel went to Mr. Abernathy's house to try to get some candy. But he was ignored and shoot away. And then she heard a big bang in, in Mr. Abernathy's basement. So she went he went and peeked a look and he smelled what smelled like rotten eggs like sulfur and he saw a blue swirling light and it seemed to be a gateway a gateway to what he thought was the land of the demons hell and he watched as mr abernathy mrs abernathy and everyone else get sucked into that vicious portal and in their place came some sort of demons. The sort of demons that you don't want to mess with. And he sees all this, and but Mrs. Abernathy, or the thing that turned into Mrs. Abernathy, saw the poor little boy running away with his dog. And then Samuel encountered the problem that many, many children all over the world and in so many fantasy books encounter. Their mom and dad doesn't believe them. So Samuel's like, Mom, um, you know, like those people who live in that house and in their basement, there's a gateway to hell and they've been replaced by demons. And she's like, Have you seen, have, do you have to see the therapist, Samuel? Um, are you okay? And do you, have you been playing too many video games with killing demons and stuff? And, well, yeah, all sorts of nonsense and so many fantasy books. The exact same thing happened and it's as frustrating. As the last one. And so Samuel must count then on his friends, Maria and Tom, I'm pretty sure. And so together, they, Samuel tries to prove that the gateway to hell was open. But a little bit of a coincidence, but maybe the cause of all this, while Mrs. Abernathy and Mr. Abernathy was doing that weird ritual that exact same day, in that exact same day, in the exact same time, a little bit haywire and then a particle escaped escaped from the accelerator and they didn't know what that particle was but and they heard voices it was like a portal and it, well, the strange thing was that voice was a known language it was saying fear me and so the devil satan the lord of hell seemed to be trying Look, can he stop the mighty Satan, the great malevolence, from entering the earth and destroy it as they know it? Um, yeah, a uh, little bit of chance, a little luck, I don't know. You, just to make sure they win, of course, I think they win. So, just to make sure, if you, just to see how they win, how they actually win, and just to make sure, you should buy the book and read it because it's like. You know, like the series of unfortunate events, right? It's like let me stick it trying to try to narrate like the graveyard bug by Neil Gaiman, for example. <laughs> it's well hilarious and scary and an awesome fantasy book all in all. And like always, your book buster, Aaron the Book Buster. Awesome book, awesome plot, and 
read the book because what else are you going to do stuck at home?